I had this bone shaker casting that I had ripped the real riders off of to use on another build. And I thought, you know, I'd like to do some experimenting with this. So there's a few different things I wanted to try and it's kind of like I made this out of bench scraps, basically. So this is the uh, bone shaker, open top, obviously, metal body. This has the metal base, so it hooks in on the back, like you see there. It only has a post at the front. So the first thing I wanted to experiment with after cleaning up the casting, as you're going to see here, is I have this trick I do with JB Weld. Yep, JB Weld, where I'll put tape, and, and you've seen this in a couple recent builds, how I've done this, where I'll take basically masking tape, or I take that blue painter's tape, and use it to uh, kind of mask off an area, or, or create a wall, in effect. And then I put the JB Weld up against that, and once it sets up, you know, it, it fills in an area. And I did it recently on the K7 build. It was pretty extreme there. And then also on the, the three blind mice Porsche build, that was kind of an example of what I'm doing on this one, where I'm choosing a specific area to fill in. On this, I wanted to fill in the roof. I, I like the looks of the bone shaker with the sealed roof. I like it open too, you know, it's fun to, to uh, detail the interior. But I don't have any bone shakers with a sealed roof. Uh, so I thought, let's try it. So here you see I took the tape and didn't have to cut it down, but you know I cut it down to make it a little more manageable and made sure it was down there pretty good. And then I just filled that area in with JB Weld. And I tried to be extra careful because, you know, it, it's a small area in there and obviously you don't want to accidentally cover up windows or, you know, have excess in, in areas you don't want it. <laughs> if it gets there, you're just going to have to clean it up later. So if you can avoid doing it in the first place, that's best. So I tried to, to you know, mix it up and get it in there as best I could using a toothpick. And then I used a pellet knife and there's the pellet knife. So I just kind of packed it in there, creating a thin layer across the roof. And you have to let it set up. I always let this set up you know, 24 hours, basically. You know, I think they say that it's workable within eight hours. I don't know that I'd push that. <laughs> but you know, if I can let it sit 24 hours, I think that's ideal. There you see me using the windows as a way to get in there to the sides. As it turned out, I did a pretty good job of, of covering the entire area. There were a couple little tiny areas that I missed. And I figured I'd be going over it with Bondo Spot Putty anyway. So uh, just cleaning it up a little bit after getting it in there. Again, because I didn't want any excess. Now there you see it after peeling off the tape. And I don't know, I find that a lot easier to do than cutting a piece of styrene to size and then, you know, sanding it, fitting it in there, gluing it in, and then you're still going to have to go over it with spot putty. You can, you can see real quickly there at the bottom, there were a couple spots I missed. So uh, after I went over it with the spot putty, and there's a better look at the inside, but went over it with the spot putty and uh, you know, just sanded it down and I, pff, I, don't know, I thought it worked pretty well. Hit it with the Army Painter Dragon Red Primer. I love Army Painter Primer. Uh, sanded it down a little bit. Um, I'm kind of going for a rough look on this. So what I did, I hit it with the, the you know the Dragon Red Primer. Like I said, I hit it with another coat of that. Then I sanded, you know, scuffed up some areas. Then I hit it with Rust-Oleum Gray, just really a light dusting in different areas. Then what you're seeing here, I went over it with uh, Citadel Null Oil. And then I went over that with uh, Citadel Agrax Earthshade. That's how I end up with the, the final coloring on this that you're going to see. But the experiment on the, on the roof seems to work. And so I'll definitely be doing this again. 
I, it's far easier for me than to try and do it with styrene. You know, it's a perfect fit this way. There's no additional working of it. So the other thing I decided I wanted to do, and one of the other things, is I thought, I want to put some big honking wheels on this thing. I wanted to try muscle machines, wheels and tires. So I had some of those laying around, pulled the wheels and tires off of that, but to get the right stance, I basically had to file into the top into that plastic section that you know holds it down. A quick comment about this. I went over the uh, detail there. You see me using the Q-tip. I had used the Sharpie uh, brass color, bronze color, excuse me, pen, and then to rough it up a little bit, just give it a little weathering on there, I went over it with a Q-tip to remove some of it. Oh, and... Uh, that base, it was originally chrome, stripped the chrome off of that, was super clean. And uh, then I shot it with some metallic gray. Shot the base with a uh, Rust-Oleum semi-gloss semi black. And then I just detailed, you know, went around, did some details. The silver that's down there already is from the Sharpie pin on the taillights. And I was just going to do the dots of the taillights. And then I thought that looked stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up filling them in. I, it seemed to me like the dots were going to be too small, just having just the dots red. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is to scale that way. But there you see, I just kind of snapped and was like, nope, I'm filling it in with red. And that's the Tamiya uh, clear red. It's perfect for taillights. You know, and a little bottle of that stuff. I mean, that's the thing about 164 scale is a little bottle of this stuff goes a long way. I'd cut the muscle machine's wheels and just used an axle tube. And then that axle tube is actually, I don't fasten it down in there. It's just resting on top of where the axle normally would drop in. For the front axle, what I did is I just cut an axle. I had a scrap axle laying around. I uh, super glued that into the groove that the axle would normally sit on the front and then just laid the muscle machine's wheels on top of that. The muscle, muscle machine's front wheels fit perfectly. Um, there is a little plastic nub on the back side of each wheel on the inside on the axle. That, I took an X-Acto knife and cut that off. So there is no nub that allowed it to fit perfectly. So the little table scrap <laughs> a shaker I came up with. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I uh, I ended up getting the stance I wanted. I was worried about that at first, how it was exactly going to work out, and uh, because it was riding too high, and uh, so I needed to adjust that. I got it riding down low. I think it's riding pretty much the same height now as a standard bone shaker. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it rolls. <laughs> it, uh, I needed to adjust the wheels just a little there, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the detail and everything. So there you see it. So here's where we started again. You know, and I actually have a few of these bone shakers sitting around that look exactly like this one. I've stripped the wheels off of them for another build because I love the real riders that are on here. And so I've got these sitting around and I do enjoy doing the bone shaker casting. So this seemed like a good one to do more experimenting on. And um, I was really just curious mostly about doing the roof with JB Weld. So that... Uh, that was a lot of fun getting that to work out. So there you see it. You know, it has a, a pretty interesting stance on it there. It's sitting low. And uh, I do believe closing the roof. Someone made a comment on Facebook. I had posted uh, some pictures of this earlier once I finished it. Um, and they commented that they thought that it looked like it was chopped, that the top looked like it was chopped with it closed in and with the big tires. I, I think that's true. It, it 
gives it a slightly different look. So I hope you enjoy this build. This was fun. <laughs> Some of these little things just, you know, they're just a blast to do and they're just a little different. A little bit more than just, just paint. You know, you're tweaking it a little bit more. So I hope you like the build. Here's some glamour shots. You can kind of see the mix of the, the primer and the gray on some of these a little bit better than you could in those other shots. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, there will be more bone shakers in the future. More chops. Lots of fun. To my subscribers, thank you very much. I do appreciate you uh, watching all of these and hanging in there with me on these. Everybody, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you in the next one.